What's up everyone, so today I got the how to pass Huntsman Ultima video for you guys and this boss is quite different to uh, Shriekwing which I uploaded last since uh, Huntsman Ultima is a cleave fight so it will be kind of different in terms of rotation and stuff like that in, uh, in comparison to Shriekwing and I'd say we just jump right into it. Um, this kill was recorded a bit over a week ago so I can't really remember everything that happened during the fight, but I just remember that I had to play a lot of mechanics and I still passed pretty high, I think it was a 99 or 98, so I think it's gonna be really good to show you guys that even though you get some mechanics and you have to play the mechanics, that you can still pass really high. And a lot of stuff uh, has been going wrong in this fight, so I think it could be quite educational, so let's just hop right into it. And let's see what we're doing here. We got a pull timer, just as always, obviously 10 seconds. And we will open with a sprint to get close to Ultima, so he gets the initial damage of Ascendance. And you definitely want to make sure that you crash lightning before you do your Ascendance burst. Since even wind strikes during Ascendance can cleave if you crash lightning beforehand. Just keep in mind that if you're in Ascendance, obviously your auto attacks and wind strikes will get a 30 yard range, which is nice. But if you are, for, um, for whatever reason, if you are outside of melee range um, and you can still hit wind strikes, they won't cleave. Wind strikes will only cleave if you stand in melee range for some reason. So definitely keep that in mind to maximize your damage on that fight. And right here you can see I get the first Sin Seeker. So I just uh, walk out uh, walk out a bit. We basically just soak them with uh, some people on the first ones. And then we get right back in. I use my Astral Shift here as well to just make sure that I don't die here. Since uh, the next ones we will uh, soak with immunities, but this one we don't. You can also see that I'm always spreading my Flame Shock on both targets. Like I will do this throughout the whole fight. No matter what ad is alive, I will just uh, spread my Flame Shock on Huntsman Ultima and uh, the ad that's currently alive. Right there I did it as well. And as long as you have an ad in range of Ultima, you always want to use your Maelstrom weapon stacks for Chain Lightning over Lightning Bolt. Since uh, with Chain Lightning, you will always buff your Crash Lightning and reset uh, the cooldown of Crash Lightning, which is really important um, to fish for Wind Fury procs on that fight. So that will overall increase your damage by a lot. So right here you can see that uh, the ad called Bargast is out of range now. And now you can see that I'm using Lightning Bolt instead of Chain Lightning, just to wait until he's back basically, uh, to maximize the boss damage. And as soon as he's back, um, I will switch over to Chain Lightning again. It's really important on this fight, since now we get uh, the Shade of Bargast, or the Shades basically, there are multiple ones. And you will see a lot of people, wait, uh, let me pause here a second. Uh, you will see a lot of people actually pad on the shades since they take increased damage uh, after being CC'd for a while. And if you've watched our first kill, I definitely padded on the shades as well because in the first few weeks of the raid, we basically needed the damage on the shade to kill them off before they finished their cast and pretty much wiped our whole raid. So that's, that's why I hard focus the shades in the beginning. But nowadays with a lot more gear and stuff like that, they just die in cleave. So if you want to go for a, for a high pass and for a log essentially, you just want to optimize your damage on Huntsman Ultima or the, the adds basically, but not the shades. That's really important. And that's what I'm doing in this fight um, currently. So right here I got another Sin Seeker and um, the Sin Seekers from now on we will soak with immunities. So we got three markers here which we have to stand on. So always keep your sprint um, for if you get a Sin Seeker. Since playing this mechanic will definitely take a lot, um, a lot of time. So you will lose a lot of damage and minimizing the downtime of you that you get from playing the Sin Seeker uh, is definitely important. So you want to use your sprint here. Then just wait until your soak is done and then I just charge right back in to, to get my uptime again basically. Here I spread flame shock again to the ad and basically just uh, continue the damage on the boss. So right here will be a moment where I will have my wolves ready. I got doom winds and I got thunder. And I think I'm just going to wait with my doom winds until the shades get gripped in. Since um, even if I'm not 
targeting them specifically, it's still nice to get the additional cleave from them, especially with Crash Lightning, to buff my Stormstrike up even more and get some more boss damage out of them. So you can see, the Marksman Hunters are pretty much killing the adds, that's why they are pretty high up in the, in the details and the damage meter on the side. But in terms of actual log damage, uh, that doesn't really mean a lot. So the second ad is about to die um, in a few seconds here. But yeah, I, I get another uh, Sin Seeker here. So again, I sprint out. Your sprint will be ready again uh, if you used it for one Sin Seeker. So don't worry about that. And then I just charge back in and continue boss damage just uh, as we did it the Sin Seeker before that. So that was the third Sin Seeker that fight, which is really unlucky in <laughs> in terms of maximizing my damage. Obviously, if you get a try where you don't get any Sin Seekers, um, that, that will be way better for, for your lock. So right here we got Bloodlust and I got Doomwind's Ascendance for the Shades. And right here I get this mechanic during my Ascendance, which is really unlucky. Since as I told you earlier, my Wind Strikes won't cleave right now since I was out of melee range. Which is really bad. Like to get a high lock you definitely want to um, to maximize the damage output that you can do during Ascendance. Since you only get two Ascendances in that fight. So making the most out of them is really important and I pretty much wasn't able to do that in this fight which is unlucky. So yeah but that's just how it is sometimes. I got three Sin Seekers and uh, uh, this mechanic right here and I still passed like a 98 or a 99. So if you optimize your cleave damage you can definitely still pass really high no matter like the mechanics that you have to play. And keep in mind like we also get some some dead DPS here so our uh, kill timing isn't even that fast. So if I'm in on the next reclear I, I will definitely try to, to improve my lock here. But um, I think it's still very important to show you guys um, how things can go wrong. Like, I I'm saying wrong in terms of um, for your damage, I, I, I guess. Like, um, if you have to play a lot of mechanics, then your damage will definitely be lower and you still need to handle it. Like, you can't just say, oh, I got uh, X or Y mechanic, now my, my damage is uh, trash and I get um, a very bad luck. That's not always how it works, like if you optimize the fight outside of the mechanics that you have to play, you can still pull some good damage off if you if you really know how to do it. And that's pretty much what I want to tell you with that video, that uh, you, just, you just have to keep pumping even if you have to play mechanics, even if stuff goes wrong, even if half of your raid group is dead, like in my case right here, and you have to play pretty much every other mechanic, you still need to give it your best and you can still get some good results and yeah we get a very late doom wins here for the last three percent and as you can see on the details meter i'm rank eight which details pretty much doesn't mean anything on on huntsman um as i said so yeah you, sh you should definitely just um ignore details during the fight basically and just uh, optimize your boss damage and that's pretty much it. Like, obviously, I can't show you a rank one kill on this boss. Um, maybe in the future I can, but for now, that's just pretty much what I'm doing to pass as good as I can. We had some mechanics in there, some mistakes, everything. And yeah, I hope you could learn something from it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Take care, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.